Doctor Who is back. Season 13 is here or series 13, depending if you're American like me or you're over there in the UK. But Doctor Who is finally back. And I am very cautiously optimistic <laughs> about this. This premiere, um, while definitely interesting, I like the way they're telling the story this season. It is a kind of a mini season. Um, with you're gonna then you're gonna have some specials with Jodie Whittaker as she finalizes her last bit of tenure of Doctor Who and Tr Chris Trimble. Um, while I've had my ups and downs, so like I said, I am cautiously optimistic about the start of this season because the start of season 12, which feels like forever ago, <laughs> um, really definitely had me exciting, but then the season kind of fell after that and i'm very like i said cautious with this um it there's a lot of things i like about the storytelling that comes in doctor who flux mainly you have very much elements of the past mixed in with um a new way of telling a story so you, you have this you have what i would say is very much uh david Tennant, matt smith era timelines going on where you you're meeting characters witnessing events or seeing different situations take place that is going to we're going to interact with later on like the whole weeping angels woman claire meeting the doctor but not at the right time that, that's the kind of stuff that made me fall in love with doctor who so i'm really interested in that you have some classic who with the santarans so when you have them mixed in and they're very much the classic Doctor Who look with some new monsters that have all actually fought the Doctor before, but the Doctor doesn't remember who they were. That's the kind of stuff I really, really, really like about Doctor Who. Even the interactions between Doctor and Yaz, even Dan to some degree, especially when they Dan and Doctor first meet, are saying, Hi Dan, nice to meet you. Now run for your life. Like that's the kind of stuff that really draws me to Doctor Who and I really enjoy. But the whole Chris moments come into play too. Uh the start of the season, the start of the premiere randomly i do like the callback to peter capaldi who's like maybe i was scottish when i programmed the the handcuffs i do like that the monsters it feels like a different variation of the cats from david Tennant's run which is familiar yes but also it's like okay yeah, what are we doing like what what are we doing what are we doing um the flux like it's very interesting very interesting but i just want to know i just i'm gonna see how it ends up because there's been a lot of interesting creatures or moments or events that has happened since jody Whitaker whitaker has taken over that seem really really awesome to begin with but then they kind of fall flat there is no real payoff and i'm really hoping the payoff here is really well done and I'm interested in seeing maybe six episodes in my mind right now seems like it's a little short because there's a lot of in stuff introduced, a lot of different storylines that are going to take place. Well, yeah, we have an hour each one, but there, there's a lot that's going to happen and I just want to see it pay off. I want to see it pay off. That is the number one thing. Um, am I sad Jodie Whittaker's leaving? Yes. Jodie Whittaker is by far an amazing doctor. She just hasn't had the writing behind her to really show that. And I can see it. I can see just sparks of brilliant in Jodie Whittaker's performance. And she is absolutely nailing what she is given. I just wish she was given some better material, um, especially after season 11 and 12 things just have not been as strong as they were with Moffat and with Davis, which I'm glad he's going to be coming back. I'm excited and I hope Doctor Who goes forward. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Doctor Who, it feels like forever since it's last been on. And I feel like that's one thing that has really hurt the momentum of Doctor Who 
We need it to be consistent again. We need seasons to come on in air every year. I know taking the Olympics was uh, one thing and all, but like it feels like it's been so long since Doctor Who has come on on a yearly basis. I mean, there's been times where it's been New Year special and oh, not going to see the Doctor again until next year. Like, I, I I'm very mixed on it. Um. I want to. I want Doctor Who to be amazing. I want it to be the show that I fell in love with in high school, uh, when my all my friends started watching it and was like, "Hey, you need to watch this show." And I'm like, uh, "I don't know." But once I gave it a shot on Netflix, I remember when Doctor Who was on Netflix. Uh, I fell in love with it, and I absolutely just am amazed with Doctor Who, and it's one of my favorite shows of all time. I just wanted to see it at the peak as it once was i wanted to go back to the brilliant show week in and week out that it once was overall i do give the doctor who flux premiere a eight out of ten it's a little bit above average it i've definitely seen worst episodes and i definitely see some hints of brilliance i just need to see where we go from from here let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode i'm very excited to be discussing doctor who here on the channel once again and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can talk about it next week <laughs>